Welcome to episode 8 of the Portugal Let's Play, and I think I want to start off episode 8 by recruiting some builders to repair some of these damaged farms, and possibly buying out some broadcast centers. Though, this I think is already halfway completed, so let's just continue on as normal and try to get through uh, today's episode. We, we don't have rifling yet, so I think there's quite a few tweaks and adjustments we want to make to our empire before we go, uh, go on and like uh, pursue the... Um, next era okay we are in a dark age though so that is a bit worrisome so i think i'm just going to go on and i've been meaning to do this for a while it's kind of been foolish to neglect this but i haven't really been improving my stuff as much and by stuff i mean resources so let's just get to that and i think um just continue on so i'm gonna start um the stock exchange there very convenient that i got prompted with that and then uh buy out a builder and then I can just trust Devilda to uh, complete that stock exchange. I don't think I have much else to actually focus on. And I think we recruited Reyna last episode because we want to focus on some of our uh, science activities, at least in the future. It's kind of an investment for now. But let's improve this marble. And that is a juicy two food, two production, and one culture that we will most definitely need, at least um, in the future. Okay, now we have a spy established in Radom, and I think we want to establish a listening post and then go for a... Ooh, there's even a canal. That's very interesting, Poland. Are they building the Panama Canal? I never see the AI do that. That is very interesting, and it's three tiles long. That's pretty impressive, actually. Hmm, I might approve of that. <laughs> Anyhow, we also freed Byzantium, and I'm just establishing that spy for a listening post. Okay, we might want to build a preserve like around here too. But I don't know if we have enough district capacity for that, unfortunately. So, maybe an aerodrome. We don't even have a diplo quarter actually, that's something I really need to get down to. And I don't know how, if I'm going to build that here or what, but we need to get to that ASAP. So, I don't know where we're going to put that. I think I'll just leave it to Elvas and put it down here because I've been really slacking on this to blow quarter and I want to get, get that out ASAP. So let's just go plop, down, plop that down there and I don't think we're going to have any more cities to settle so maybe I'll just go for... We could troll Poland and go for the Panama Canal but that would be completely useless. So... Maybe just get a commercial hub. We're really low on housing. Hmm... That is a bit troubling. Um, I don't think the aerodrome provides housing either. And we kind of have to sacrifice a few tiles for this aqueduct. Hmm. I don't know if I want to chop the stone for that though. Um, let me just send aid, and then I'll think about that over the course of the next five turns. And then we have England to the north, who we have to deal with. They've established quite the empire, though no one has colonized Iceland yet, which is kind of surprising. Though I guess the AI does tend to stray away from snow, so that could be a reasoning behind that. And our trade ships are looking quite wonderful. They're filling the uh, Atlantic. Okay. Probably improve that farm too, or repair it at least. I don't think you can improve a farm, but um, oh well. Okay, go here and improve this or repair it. I gotta keep making these slip ups, but I'm um, gonna repair that farm and then I think we can go ahead and use our last border charge to plop one down. Last episode, we also got a seaside resort um, with a tropical theme. It kind of looks out of place, but I guess that's okay. Probably would look a bit better in the um, in a golden age, but whatever. Let's get medieval walls, and you can build this fishery. Here we go. Alrighty, we're coming along quite speedily here. Okay, rifling, which is kind of funny considering we're like working on a natural history, yet we don't even know how to build rifles. Uh, let's go ahead and get steel. I think we need, I don't know, the Eiffel Tower would be nice for some neighborhoods for extra housing. So at an airport. Though I think we might go for computers. We want that additional spy capacity so we can start stealing wonders. 
just so I don't want to worry about the um, AI's tourism pressure. Okay, renew that mission and go ahead and finally repair this farm. And I actually want to see if we have any uh, more opportunities to build some more monopolies. Go ahead and send this to where? Okay, we don't want to send that to Sweden. Maybe to England, actually. And get some extra gold there. Thank you. I mean, at this point, I have so much gold, it doesn't really matter who I send the trade route to. So, okay. Okay, we max out our trader slots, actually. 21 traders, that is insane. Um, just go for industrial zone logistics. Maybe theater square festivals, actually. Let me just see, do we have any more monopoly options here? Global resources. Um, we have a mon monopoly on ivory and on wine, but I don't think we have a monopoly on yeah. citrus. We're so close to getting one on olives, though. So, I don't think anyone else has a, okay. England almost has a monopoly on dyes. But I don't think anyone else has a monopoly just yet. I'm looking for any more unimproved wine resources. And possibly, I need to improve that sheep. But possibly some other resources here. Okay, there's some wine there. I need some more olives, I think. Yeah, it looks like we're out of olives. But um, there's one here, which is kind of unfortunate. We should have gone and colonized that. But Poland kind of beat us to it. Uh Though it looks like uh, Byzantium reconquered Lodz, or conquered Lodz, I guess, because that is an originally Polish city. And... Mm, I don't want to... That's such a good tile. That stone is so, so good. Ugh. Do we have any bigger cities? Uh, I might want to shift Pingala to Lisbon, but anyhow, I think... There's no wonders that gives us it gives us extra housing either, I don't think. So conflicted here. Um Okay, let's just build the aqueduct on the stone then. I hate to do it, but I need that extra production here. Or the housing. Oh, so so unfortunate, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, now we have a few aid requests going on too. We have a religious emergency, a world's fair, and we have an aid request from Georgia. So I think we're working on sending some aid to Georgia. I think we might have already done that. Okay, and we're not win really winning anything, so we're so close, but uh, Basil beat us to bronze, which is pretty impressive considering he literally just regained his empire in the, la in the last like 10 turns, so... I'll accept that embassy, and I'm kind of surprised we don't already have, or we didn't already have, um, an embassy with Georgia. In all works, I'm not but whatever. Okay, send this to Viso. And we want to gather some more of that science. Okay, we're beating Poland by, we have twice as much science as the next person, which is very, very impressive. Let me go ahead and put some more envoys in Bologna, and... I think I'll buy a builder to repair this iron and start improving some wheat. So let's buy an amphitheater in the process and send this to Thessalonica. We also managed to establish some uh, some of our religion in uh, Byzantium, which is very nice. So I'm going to buy a builder here and get maybe an art museum to balance things out. I can't remember just quite how many art museums and archaeological museums I have. I think with that I have like two art, two or three art museums and like one archaeological museum. Let me just see. Okay. Yeah, we have a few art museums it looks like. At least including this one that's coming up. So let me just repair this iron. And I think we're going to move on and improve this wheat. It's been long overdue and then move on to the cotton. Okay. Too bad we don't have Maui. If we had some unclaimed tiles we could... Rapidly improve this stuff with some resources. Possibly some olives, but... To kind of counterbalance Maui's abilities. Because they can be a bit overpowered, especially with the Maya and everything. Um, you cannot build those resources in your own borders, unfortunately. Alright, let's grab some campus research grants. And I'm kind of disappointed this city doesn't have more population. I might want to focus on that, actually. I don't know why I have that focused on production. I think it was rushing out a wonder or something. Um, so let's go ahead. Okay, that'll be seven turns, and then maybe we can get a preserve next. And let's go ahead and buy this consulate out. 
There we go. And then buy the Chancery out. Wonderful. Because I have been uh, spending out tons of envoys, so I want to get some return on that. Okay. And 551 science is nothing to scoff at, especially since we're not even in the modern era, or we, are, we just entered the modern era. So that is very, very impressive. Especially since this is on, like, Mortal or Emperor difficulty. I forget which one we were on. But it should say in the title, so... Worry not. Okay. He look, look, looks like he built a Hippodrome in Viso, which is interesting. He might be going on the offensive. But I don't know if the AI calculates that they're going to be... Uh, at least the Byzantine AI calculates that uh, they're going to get some extra units from the Hippodrome. So... We do have some more housing in uh, Lisbon, which is nice, though. Okay, let's get a water park. I really have nothing else to build build in this poor city, and I need some amenities, so... I think this is a nice radius. Our cities aren't placed too uh, strategically in terms of amenities. We want to spread them out towards the coast, so... You kind of have to sacrifice that aspect of amenity planning and whatnot. And yeah, let's get an industrial zone here. Need some power, I think. Or we do have some power, but we may be going low in a bit. Because I think industrial zones have a radius, so... We do have okay power for now. We're getting some from renewable resources, which is nice. Okay, let's see what tech boost. 74%, that is not bad at all. And I'll take that. Looks like she built Mainakshi Temple. Very interesting. The AI always goes for that, even though it's one of the worst wonders. Uh, especially, like, Stonehenge, so... Kind of funny to see them beelining that. I also need to upgrade the Swordsman, so let me do that with Infantry. And we're gonna get the boost. So, thank you. And we can go for Theater Squares. Alright. Let's also work towards Vilnius, since we do have some uh, benefits towards sending envoys out with the Chancery and whatnot. So, send something to Vilnius and improve the suite. There we go. Now, finally, Elvas has something interesting to work with. And then I should be improving the uh, cotton next to help them out. Okay. Ooh, and we have a hurricane. Okay. Though it just dissipated, so I don't think it killed too many people. Okay, it didn't kill anyone, nor did it uh, pillage any tiles, I don't think. Wonderful. So, let's repair... Okay, I take that back, actually. Destroy the commercial hub. I didn't, I didn't even see that. But um, we're going to repair that and get a seaport here. Should help our coastal tiles out. And I think I want to buy some out, too. Okay, those ocean tiles actually aren't going to be too useful here. But that coastal tile over to the um, Tunisian coast or whatever should be helpful. Uh, do we want anything here? Mm. We can't actually improve this oil, which is kind of funny. I think we still need to work towards refining. So after computers, or I'll, I'll just grab that now. But I was going to say, after computers, let's grab that. But I think it's okay to grab it now. And I think we want to remove this heresy, too. So let me buy some apostles, actually, and go on the offense with religion. There we go. I think I only need one. And maybe we grab a theater square here or a commercial hub. But I don't think I need that extra gold. I mean, I'm already kind of... It's kind of already overkill with all of this gold. So... I don't know. Um, let's just get a theater square. Okay, that's fine there. I don't want to chop out the forest. Too useful for me. And Hermitage could be nice. Though I don't think it's as good as Bolshoi Theater. Yeah, I don't have too many wonder options there. So let's just go for campus research grants and start churning out these special projects. It'd be pretty interesting if there was a civilization that had bonuses towards special projects. I could think like America and maybe one of the presidents like Eisenhower, but... I don't know if there's any other... Um, okay, I don't know if that's... Ooh, let's get Pilgrim. Anyhow, I don't know if there's any uh, civilizations you guys want to specifically see next. I don't know if they're going to do more. But um, it'd be pretty interesting. Okay. Looks like we lost a trade route, so I think we're going to put this guy to sleep. I don't know why we lost one, but that is a bit unfortunate. Unless someone was, like, conquered. But I don't think Byzantium... Yeah, they don't, I don't think they lost anything. 
so special card. Okay, I'm gonna vote no for this because I hate Yadviga. So no, thank you. Unfortunately, that passed. I think some some other people also voted no for that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Tamar, Victoria, and Christina. Surprisingly, Bazile voted for that emergency, which is kind of funny considering she literally conquered your empire, buddy. So, ugh, just I, 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 the AI's reasoning here is very poor. Okay, we don't have any more trade routes. We can send to Byzantium. So, let's go and send this to Sheffield, I guess. Okay, Scottish Sheffield. Very interesting. Okay, let's go and prove this fish here. And I think I can go send you next to... We don't have any natural wonders around here. Let's go and put you next to... Uh, what is this? Pamukkale? And it looks like our religion is holding out fairly well in Byzantium. Maybe it needs some help in Constantinople, but it should be fine here. And it looks like, looks like George is going for an aggressive game here. And forward settling. Like, they finally founded their fifth city in like 1920 AD, which is kind of funny. All right, let's repair that market. And we have some more policy slots available to us. Getting plus 20 science from natural philosophy, that is pretty insane. We could get plus 28 housing. And, okay, there's some interesting dark age policies. Ooh, Wieselbanken could be lo uh, pretty ludicrous. So I should have been looking at this earlier, but Plus six science. This is so, so helpful, though. Um, I don't need that extra gold, to be completely honest with you. Let's get the Raj, and let's slot in Wieselbanken if we can. Yeah, that's not helping anymore, so get in Wieselbanken. And we need an economic policy slot. What do we want? Um, let's get the extra amenities here. We have a ton of districts anyway. I don't need that extra science. We're already so far ahead. We have twice as much science as Poland, who is the second highest ranking science civ. Closely followed by Victoria. And it looks like she's actually building naval cores, which is interesting. I know they've been improving AI logistics like that. Lies over me in Halicarnassus. Of such dimensions, of such exquisite beauty, as no other shade can boast. Ooh, and we finished Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. I love that quote. And that should give this city some big, big buffs. Look at all that food and culture. Mm -mm -mm. So, so good. And we get some extra engineering charges too, which is really insane. Someone told me in the comments to build this, and uh, it's always been the plan. But I just didn't think I had time. I kind of wanted to build this city up before I go for uh, Mausoleum. And it should be good here. So, I think... What do we want to go for next here? Um, maybe a water park. Maybe we can have a good radius here. So it's sad to sacrifice that tile, but I kind of want to um, at least give myself some good amenities here. Okay, repair that. Unfortunately, that did a number on us. But the Gilded Vault should be giving us, like, three culture, which is really, really good. Gonna help us up, catch up with our culture game. I think two episodes ago we had only, like, 90 culture, and now, man, we are just flying by. So let's get Renaissance Walls, or actually a workshop for that production. And work ourselves towards a factory, and then get this fishery here with our last charge. And, okay, I'll just accept an embassy. I thought you just sent me one, but... That's a bit weird. Okay. Refining, thank you. I think we can just fin finally put this builder to rest and finish this oil. So there we go, extra production, and we got some oil. Though I don't think we have too much oil. Yeah, we're consuming minus one per turn, um, but this should help put those worries to rest. I love that little model when it's being worked. It's uh, This refinery is going up and down. Very interesting. Nice little detail. I think there's another detail where if you snake, uh, shake the map with uh, ski resorts that kind of spins around like a, the snow in the ski resort spins around like a snow globe, which is kind of funny. Um, enough of my rambling, though. We should probably build a holy site. Let's build one here. It looks like Taj Mahal is almost done, so we don't have to suffer too much from those uh, golden ages, or those dark ages. 
I don't know why you'd be suffering from a golden age, but um, that should help us out. And let's buy a broadcast center. There we go. Looks like our theater squares are looking a lot more complete now. Uh, we have some money to splurge, so I think we're going to go and buy out the rest of our buildings with gold. But then in the meantime, we can build some uh, wonders here like Hermitage. And that should be good, just because we want those extra great person points. And I don't really have anything else to do. So that's what happens when you have too much gold. You just have to buy out everything. Okay. Apparently we won that emer uh, religious emergency. And we are producing... What is that? Kvavri Saparavi. Okay, but that is our product um, created by Fado Imports. And that's going to give us some extra tourism and food. Very, very interesting. So, I think we might even be able to move this around to Funchal to help them out. But in the meantime, yes, we can build a preserve. And that would remove the woods, but I think it would greatly improve our yields in the adjacent districts here. So let's go ahead and build that. And I don't know if we can buy that out just yet. No, we can't. We need some more promotions with Reyna. So we're just holding off until we get those, and let's go and produce some more products. Okay. I think we can also produce a product here, right? Now, where's the other corporation? Who is working this? That's not a corporation. Um, there's another corporation somewhere. Oh, I think it's here, actually. So after you finish that workshop, go ahead and queue up the ivory product. And let's make some use out of that. Okay. Um, what do you want to do here? I just pump out some more science. Why not? Okay, more news from Poland. And I'm just kind of waiting for the space race. So we have computers now, and that should be coming along soon. I guess we still need to go through steel and whatnot. And we have telecommunications, but where is the, um, I'm wondering where the space district is. Kind of funny that we're pursuing it in like 1924, oh, but <laughs> might as well start early. The Nazis started in like 1944, so. Um, where do we want to go now? I guess we need sanitation. And rocketry is really not too far away. We need a great scientist for that. Kind of unfortunate, but kind of weird, I guess, that it doesn't um, give us a boost for that. So, I guess we're just going to hold off. And then we might end the episode when we uh, start researching rocketry. Get an aquarium here and then buy some flood barriers. I'm impressed that we can... Actually, we can't buy those out, but um, I'm impressed that we can already start working on those. We would want to flood those marshes since we are getting some bonuses from Inte Donkey, which has really helped us out throughout this game. We almost have suzerainty on all of the city-states, which is very impressive. Especially since the AI can be really, really competitive. Looks like Bazile is regaining his science, too. And we have an Did unfortunate dust storm there. Yeah. Here Ooh, Taj. Brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. I just always love watching the building animations. I can't skip them. So, so beautiful. There we go. And I love how the um, wall is not built towards the um, source of water. Always love that detail. Though I guess it's weird that there's a wall not being, uh, there's a wall being constructed facing the river. But still, I like that little detail there. And that should help us with our golden ages, so let's get a theater square in the meantime. Here we go. Let's actually get one here. That is still plus three. And we can escape on foot. Looks like someone caught us. Okay, failure. Unfortunate. We had like a three out of four chance of um, getting that, but apparently we still failed. Very unfortunate. Okay, and let's go ahead and... Spread once here. We have how many charges left? Five. So I think I'll, after that I'll probably move you elsewhere. And there's a Jewish apostle there, unfortunately. Kind of ironic that 
Poland founded Judaism, but whatever. I think I already mentioned that beforehand. Anyhow, let's move you to Guimarães uh, and start spreading our religion. Looks like a uh, tax evasion has been founded in Cidade de Vela, but we haven't made it as far as like Tunisia. Okay, let's get industrial zone logistics, and I don't think we have any more buildings we can buy out, no. So we do have some fish fisheries that we could build though. Or fishing boats. So let me go ahead and buy that buy up blah, blah, buy out that builder. And you get to work on in repairing this industrial zone. Okay, that didn't kill anyone, but it did damage some tiles. That kind of sucks. I need to repair my oil refinery here. Might as well improve these fish while I'm at it. Okay. And let's buy this builder. Okay, and then you, speaking of builders, let's move you over here. And I don't know if I'm going to pursue archaeologists just yet. I think I'm determined to go for a science victory here. Okay, renew that mission. And you... Um, we want to counter spy. I guess the holy site here. Or actually maybe the industrial zone. Go counter spy there. And you... I think you can repair this. Yes, you can. That's great. Look at those insane yields we'd be missing. Okay, build this. Thankfully, there's no hurricanes that uh, spawn in Jade Bite, which is a very odd name, but... I don't even know if that's Portuguese. That might be a Chinese scene. Not sure. Can you improve that? And, oh, we can improve this wine here. Okay, looks like we have all of uh, North Africa claimed, or mo at least most of it. Okay. Let's go with uh, harbor shipping. And I don't think we can research rocketry just yet, so let's go for sanitation. Sanitation, there we go. And you've improved all this stuff. And I even want an emergency for World's Fair. I am pumping out so many great people points. Yeah, I beat them actually by like 3,000 points. That is a bit excessive. Okay, let's go start improving these crabs. We have more, like one more charge, I think. You improve this wine. I think we have some oil to repair, too. Can get some flood barriers. We don't want our uh, industry flooding. Get a factory. And get an amphitheater. Let me buy that out, actually. I'll buy this archaeological museum out, too. And let me buy that broadcast center out. Wonderful. Okay, I think next we want... Um, maybe an industrial zone here, so I have some uh, power going out to everyone. Because I know power costs increase as the uh, time goes by. Alright, I will be friends. There we go. Let's renew that alliance, actually. Okay. Of course, I'm going to vote for myself. There we go. Vote for that. Vote for myself again. And let's vote for public relations here. Okay, but um, how many more votes do I need to put into myself? Let's just go for 12. I think that should be good. And I did gain two Diplo victory points. Though I think I spent a bit too much there. So, how many do we have now, actually? We have 14 Diplo victory points. That is very, very nice. Looks like Poland is closely behind us, ironically, considering how many war crimes they've committed. Ooh, and we could absorb a city-state. I think I actually want to use this one. We can try to absorb, um... Absorb, uh, who was this? Valeda, just to uh, get that extra science and possibly get this olive. So, I think I'll do that for the next episode, but for now, I'm just going to improve the sheep and call that an end for uh, today's episode. I think we've gone on long enough. Okay, I'll accept that deal. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the episode, and uh, unfortunately we didn't get to uh, start researching rocketry. <clears throat> but if you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. And uh, let me know what you're excited to see in the next episode. And if there's any specific requests you want to see for this series, 
Um, but as always, this has been Civic Extraordinaire. Love you guys. Hope to see you guys later. And uh, have fun with your week. All right. See you guys. Peace.